Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we got a new shark bite update. It's enabling canvas mode, the full beta flight OSD. I'm Jeff with Titan FPV and you're going to acquire some knowledge today. I want to say again, guys, a big thanks to you. This channel is growing. I couldn't do it without you. So uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Click the like button, leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, so I've been uh, testing this firmware for a bit, released to me as beta firmware. Um, and it looks like Fat Shark has uh, updated their website with a warning. Uh, so kind of flash at your own risk, uh, but it is uh, gonna enable canvas mode. And what that means is you're gonna get the full beta flight functionality pretty much with a cat. You're gonna update your uh, VRX and VTX. That's gonna enable canvas mode. Pretty much everything if you've uh, flown analog previously. It's gonna give you all the OSD elements uh, you're familiar with, uh, pilot name, flight mode, um, all that good stuff. Uh, pretty much the only thing is not working is the VTX power and I'm pretty sure that they'll add that shortly. Uh, Carl's really quick at getting features added, so definitely want to give a shout out to him. He's at the head of DiviMath uh, and working closely with uh, Fat Shark. DiviMath is who supplies the SharkBite uh, system. I believe they make their chips in house. Carl's really passionate about the project, and uh, he's getting these updates out to us quick. So thanks again to Carl for that. The prerequisites for this one are you need to be on Beta Flight 4.2.8 or higher. I believe 4. 3 is just about to come out. I think it's still in beta right now. So I just updated a couple of my quads to actually 3 um, to 4.2.8. So you'll see in the footage there, not the smoothest flight you'll ever see from me. But anyway, I want to get this video out to you guys. I was excited about it and uh, show you those OSD elements. That's just normally what I fly. Uh, one thing I did note, elements are not actually necessarily lined up. So you're not getting the full screen. You can't put the OSD elements directly at the top or bottom on the corners of the screen, but, and they aren't completely lined up, I believe. What I recommend is connecting your quad to the VRX while you're uh, powered up, connect it to beta flight, make sure your props are off, safety first guys, and just moving the elements around to see where they actually appear in your goggles real time uh, before you save those. It's nice to see LQ back a Crossfire user, so I like to know when I'm in mode one or mode two and my link quality. We'll cut to uh, the uh, beta flight setup. Uh, if you haven't already seen my video on how to update the SharkBite system, uh, put a card up here. Uh, take a look at that. You'll want to do that first. It doesn't really matter if you flash the uh, VRX or the VTX first, but you do have to flash both of these. This update is not going to be backwards compatible. One thing that they did do in the update, they aligned all the channels to race band. So, so you update your module and you don't update your VTX, yeah, it won't pair. So the channels aren't, they don't line up right. It'll, it'll just keep scanning constantly for the quad. Do notate that you do have to update everything. For some reason you can't update one of your quads. You may want to hold up on this, but let's go ahead and cut to beta flight. Even if you've got your VRX and VTX updated, you're not done yet. There's still a couple more steps that you have to do within beta flight to get your canvas mode working there the full beta flight osd on your shark bite so you're going to make sure that you're updated to beta flight 4.2.8 or higher uh, one of the main takeaways 4.3 has got a larger display port buffer so you can display uh, more osd elements i guess more efficiently let's go ahead and get connected to beta flight and then we're going to go into the cli tab and we're just going to type in this set OSD underscore display port device equals uh, MSP. And then you're going to figure out the UART you have your SharkBite set up on in the ports tab, and you're going to subtract one from that. In this case, I have mine set up on UART 3, so I'm going to set it to 2. So you're going to type in set display port underscore MSP, uh, it'll be serial, 
And then, like I said, in my case, it's going to be two. You're going to subtract from one from whatever you are you're on. Hit return, and then hit save, and you're all set.